Okay, I'm looking very closely at the sterling right now, uh, as I think that there's an uh, opportunity that's coming up. Um, what I can see from the previous day is that there's a very sharp uh, pullback, and uh, it does look impulsive. So I, I'm thinking that it may be a turnaround. So I haven't got time to label, label this chart. Um, uh, a quick and dirty uh, look at it gives you a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think that's an impulsive wave, and then currently it's doing an ABC. So what I'm thinking that it, it, is that currently it may bounce up to about one day two, one day two, and then it come back down. So what I'm doing is uh, I'll be placing order to sell one day two, and then uh, we will sort of one day three, and I will leave the profit take open. Um, with an initial target that is somewhere around here, probably in the, in the low 129. So it may be even more, so we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, I'm going to leave that open and see what happens uh, eventually. And um, if I look at the bigger picture, uh, not really bigger picture, uh, uh, the move from August. Okay, what, what I can see from this move is a correction, okay, probably a, some kind of ABC here. Um, a lot of overlaps also down here, so not exactly impulsive. So I'm not, uh, I'm not yet certain that this is a collective wave, but I think chances are that it is. Okay, and once the price cross over this this uh, level, which is around thirty two, around thirty forty three. And I'm I'm pretty sure that this is a correction and it will be fully retraced, which means that it will go all the way back to the new low. Um, so initial target I will be looking at around here 129 in the low end of 129. And then uh, and then I think eventually it may even go much lower. So we'll keep an open mind about that and then uh, we'll see how, how it happens uh, going forward.